What's going on guys? It's your boy Steel Curtain here and welcome to another YouTube video. As most of you guys probably know, Warzone Season 3 is finally here and with that came the addition of the brand new intervention aka the FJX Imperium Sniper Rifle. And they also made it so that these bolt action sniper rifles can now one shot headshot in Warzone. However, this does come with some drawbacks. If you make it so that your gun could one shot headshot in Warzone, it makes it so that the bullet velocity is way, way lower. Because of that, we're going to talk a little bit later about if it's really worth it to use this sniper in Warzone or to make your snipers one shot in Warzone because it might not be worth it for you. But before we do that, we're going to dive into the gameplay, see how it is, and then after that, I'll give you guys the class setup so that you guys can try it for yourselves. So without further ado, let's jump right into the games. And if you guys haven't already, make sure you hit that sub button down below as well as the notification bell so you never miss another video on this channel. You ready, John? Yeah. Spy behind us, guys behind us. God, I got something. I got one shot there. Well, behind you though. Huh? I need to hit those shots though, okay? There you go. Alright, we lose. I'm gonna we, we bring him to one health and try for a trick shot. I wanted to see if he, I thought he would have played it again. Why would you do that? He didn't play. I I thought he would have played you it again. You hard scoped him. I thought it was a no scope. Awkward. I thought he would have played it again. Game. Alrighty, guys, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay using the FJX Imperium. Now we're gonna move over to the class setup so that you guys can get it all set up and ready to go for you to try out yourself. All right, so here we are with the FJX Imperium. This thing is pretty slick. It looks pretty nice. I still don't have Orion on it, but we're working on that. We'll get there eventually. Um, but this is the class setup. For the barrel, we got the TAC Command 19. For the laser, we have the VLK laser. For the stock, we have the FJX Kilo TAC. For the bolt, we have the FJX Blast. And for the ammo, we have the 408 Explosive. Now, this is what's important. These rounds are what make the bolt action snipers in Warzone one-shot headshot now. So if you want a one-shot headshot with your sniper, you have to use these rounds. And that goes for all three of the bolt-action snipers. Um, let's go over the tuning now. For the barrel, recoil steadiness, ADS speed. For the laser, sprint to fire speed, ADS speed. For the stock, sprint to fire speed, ADS speed. Nothing for the bolt. And then for the ammo, I'm using damage range and bullet velocity. Guys, this is probably your best bet for a Sheikah Island. It gives you the most speed while also being able to one-shot headshot. If you're going to play on Mazra, I recommend you guys upgrade it to change it so that maybe you have a longer barrel for more bullet velocity and damage range because you really do need that on the bigger map. Now, for sniper support, in this video, I was using the Chimera. This gun's pretty good. I like it a lot. We might even make um, a separate video for this gun, but <clears throat> it's pretty good. Um, for the attachments, we got the FTAC Ripper 56 under barrel, the 45 round mag, D37 grip, TRX 56 stock, and the VLK laser. Uh, we'll go through the uh, tuning now. For the under barrel, we got recoil stabilization, aiming out of stability, nothing for the mag. For the grip, recoil steadiness, and sprint to fire speed. For the stock, 
aim down sight speed and aiming idle stability and then for the laser sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed alrighty guys so now you guys saw the gameplay you got the class set up now let's take a little bit of a deeper dive into if we think these one shot snipers are worth it specifically with the FJX Imperium so through my personal experience the one shot sniping is fun I you know if you're a sniper main this is definitely good for you because you like to one shot snipe um but you know personally i'm not a sniper main i like to you know run and gun i have my smg and my ar usually um so this is definitely a change up for me when it comes to like being absolutely meta i would say it's not necessarily worth using these one shot snipers personally because i just don't think it's op enough uh, the the bullet velocity is super hard to like get down and you end up missing a ton of shots um you know like i said it's fun it's cool to use but is it necessarily worth it is it meta i would say no regardless of that i still think you guys should give this a shot try out the fjx imperium try out the one shot sniping it is fun it is a good time and you know you will surprise some people when you hit them with one bullet and they go down I would love to get your guys' take on the FJX Imperium and the one-shot sniping in Warzone. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of it all. Let me know if you think it's worth it, if it's fun. Whatever you guys think about it, let me know in the comments below. But that is going to wrap it up for today's video. I really do hope you guys enjoyed. Keep a lookout for more videos coming soon because the new season came out. There's a lot of new guns, a lot of weapon balancing. So we're going to be covering as much as we can here with the new season. Guys, I appreciate you watching all the way through if you did. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.